Hi YouTube, this is Matt McIntosh and in this video I just want to show you how you can go about getting this sort of chainmail effect or uh, adding extra detail to your meshes with quite a simple technique. Um, it gives consistent results and is quite a lot easier than trying to use nano mesh. So as you can see from this there are quite a few uh, sub tools in here. Um, the one that I'm particularly uh, interested in showing you has about five six million polys and that's basically so that it can pick up all of the detail from the texture that's going to be implemented to it so to start off with I had a, a, a base sculpt that I'd created for this vest um, it's not in a particularly usable format um, it's quadded but it's not got any mapping on it and the polygon count is a bit too high to actually unmap that properly. So what I uh, tend to do is take it into Silo, you can take it in 3ds Max or Maya or whatever, and just retop the thing so that you end up with a uh, mapped version. And if I just select these coordinates and move them out of the way, you can see that the texture repeats because there's the one to zero square. Um, export that out of whatever program it is. You might even do it in, in ZBrush but um, you need that mapping coordinate uh, information on there. So you can see that this is a, a version of the mesh. I've actually divided it a couple of times. So what I'm gonna do is go back to the initial import, which is just here. And you can see that the quads are, are all laid out. They've got mapping coordinates applied to them. And what I want to do is actually divide the mesh, but keeping the smooth option turned off. And what this means is that although you end up with a faceted faces appearing, you can divide your mesh. I've taken it up to about 7 million polys here. Um, you can divide the mesh and uh, when you apply your displacement map, it will actually get rid of all that kind of uh, faceting going on. So we want to expand displacement, load in an alpha. So I'll just import one in now. I'm going for this chain mail effect. You can use whatever kind of texture you want. Um, and then just increase the intensity. If you go too high, um, what you're going to end up with is a weird looking effect. It's just pushed it out too much. Um, so what I'd recommend that you do is go with a much lower intensity and try and work from that. So if I apply the displacement map now, you can see that it's applied all that information and you can get quite close to it and it's still got a lot of detail there. There are areas uh, such as on the side here and up at the top where uh, basically there is a mismatch of UV coordinates. I'm sure if you played around with it enough you'd be able to get a uh, better result but all I'm going to do with my character is cover those areas up. So hopefully uh, you've enjoyed that content. If you have please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.